Hi friends, welcome to today's video. My name is Stephanie and today I'm super excited to be sharing two new collections coming from Paint and Polish. So first we have the Food for Love collection, which is eight pieces and it's inspired by Valentine's Day. Yes, it is a belated Valentine's Day collection, but you know I'm gonna be here for it because I love sparkly pinks. But if you're not in the mood for that, we also have four new green Crellies with gold flakes in the Gilded Greens collection. And this is more for St. Patrick's Day, the month of March, or just if you're a green lover. So as always, I will have my timestamps in the description if you are interested in one over the other. But otherwise, let's get into the swatches. The first polish is You're My Jam, and it's a white crelly base with purple and red micro flakes, as well as a purple and I think hot pink micro shimmer in there. So as you can see on the first coat, this is absolutely packed with flakies where you don't need to fish around or anything. It gives you really, really great coverage that's really even for the most part. It might be a little sheer or patchy in some spots, but I got it fully opaque on my nails in two coats. I think I was a little heavy handed with my swatches. I'm not sure if it's because of how much glitter and flakies are in these polishes, but yeah, this one's super cute. The next shade is Don't Go Bake In My Heart, which is a white crelly base with purple, red, and pink micro glitters. And this is basically the same as the last polish as far as the white crelly and the color combination of what's inside, but this one is just with micro glitters as opposed to flakies. So I know sometimes people aren't really a fan of polishes that are very similar to each other, but I really like that Lexi gives you that option sometimes with her collections where if you're not a fan of flakies but you are a fan of the color combination and you care more about glitters, this is like the perfect option, you know? So like the last one, this was perfectly opaque for me in two coats, but I would recommend using a peel-off base coat and probably a glitter grabber since this does dry a little textured. The next shade we have is Butter Me Up, and this one is a super cute medium toned pink crelly base with a gold micro shimmer and micro flake in there. So I, to no one's surprise, really, really love this shade. I think the base color is so beautiful. The formula was also amazing. I mean, it's not full coverage on the first coat because otherwise the base would kind of swallow up all those like little shimmers and everything. So it was fine for me in two coats. Again, if you prefer thinner coats, you might need a third, but Either way, the end result is just so adorable. It just is such a perfect spring polish. Next up, we have Relationship Goals. And this one is a medium pink, kind of like a watermelon shade with a black matte micro flake. So I absolutely love this one. I just love the base color. And honestly, the polish alone just reminds me of watermelons. So I think I'm gonna love this one so much in the summer because you can just add a little green French tip or cuticle line and it's the easiest watermelon nails. But anyway, this one had such an amazing formula where it was the most opaque and even coverage on the first coat from the polishes we've seen so far, but I still did do a second coat just to kind of build up the base a little bit more. It didn't change the color too much, but just made it a little more opaque and layered a bit more of those flakies. So this is another one that will dry down textured, so you will need a glitter grabber, but I love it. Next up, we have I Loaf You, and this one is a coral jelly base that's packed with a bright pink holographic micro glitter and a gold metallic micro flake. So my first thoughts on this one were that I just didn't like it in the bottle. I thought it leaned a little too orange, so I just wasn't really 
expecting much but once i applied it i feel like my mind totally changed the formula alone was just so impressive with how even coverage it was for being a jelly i thought it was going to be a little bit more sheer and streaky but it was perfectly opaque for me in two coats I actually really loved the pink holographic specks that you would see in there and just like how layered it all is with the jelly base. It's just so sparkly and pretty. The next shade is Sucker For You and this is a clear base that is absolutely packed with metallic and holographic purple and red micro glitters but there's also these matte black micro glitters and some holographic sparkle as well. So there is a ton going on in this polish. Here it is in one coat. As you can see, I didn't need to work around for this polish. I didn't have to fish or dab the glitters on. It is just so insanely packed with glitters that you are definitely going to need a glitter grabber or maybe even two coats of that. <laughs> just to smooth everything out but i think this one is so fun i think the addition of the black matte glitters in here definitely gave it that anti-valentine's day feel but i think this color combination can work so well for halloween or just october <laughs> Next up we have Brie Mine and this is a magenta crelly base that's packed with micro holographic flakies, pink holographic micro glitters, and silver and gold reflective glitters. So there's definitely a ton going on in this polish as well, but formula wise this was another amazing even coverage polish. You can definitely see through to my nail line a little bit on the first coat, but I kind of like how it gave that squishy feel because it was very even coverage. So I think this could work in one coat, but I am going to be showing it built up in two where it's fully opaque and it is just absolutely stunning. Definitely one of my favorites from this collection. And here it is with flash where you can kind of see that twinkle of the reflectives, but it's not super in your face like some of the other ones. And rounding out the collection, we have Love You Very Much, which is a hot pink jelly base that basically has that same glitter and micro flake combination as the last polish, as well as the reflective glitters. It's just in a slightly darker base, but I did find this one to be a little bit more on the jelly side. So even after two coats, I still could see through to my nail line, but because there's so much going on in these shades it didn't really bother me at all but i think if you did want it fully opaque you probably would need a third coat you definitely will need a peel off base and glitter grabber for these last two polishes because they are just so so packed with glitters that they dry down really textured but yeah here it is with flash and again you can kind of see that reflective sparkle but it's not obnoxious Moving on to the Gilded Greens collection, the first polish is Gilded Gecko, and this one is like a lime green crelly base that has the gold metallic flakes in them. So as you can see, the formula on this one is really smooth and easy to apply. It is a little bit sheer still on the first coat, but I got it fully opaque for me in two coats, so there's no issues there, and I actually really liked these. This one especially because it's just so bright and perfect for the beginning of spring, especially for March. It really reminds me of leprechauns looking for their gold, so I think it's so, so cute. Next up we have Gilded Clover, and this one is a little bit more of a medium grassy green crelly base with that same gold metallic flake. So formula wise, this performed pretty much the same as the last polish where it was very even coverage on the first coat, but still a little bit sheer so you can still see through to my nail line. And I did darken up the exposure a little bit more just to kind of match what I was seeing because it was picking up a little too bright on camera. They're definitely, I will be showing a comparison later to all the greens in this collection, but yeah, you know how I feel about these kind of true medium tone shade greens. They're not my favorite exactly to wear, but I think this one is still really pretty. 
Next up we have Gilded Gherkin and this one is like an olivey green crelly base with the same gold metallic flakes in them. So yeah, I'm sorry that this one is just completely out of focus for this first swatch application but the formula was basically the same as the other polishes where it's a little bit sheer and patchy on the first coat because of that crelly base but you definitely get great payoff with the flakies and as far as the base color goes i know olives are very or i should say i'm picky with olives and i actually really like this one because even though the first coat was definitely very light and very yellow leaning once it was built up in two coats i just really like how much deeper the green base became and the gold flakies just complement it really, really nicely. So I actually really like this one. And the last shade in this quad is Gilded Pines, which is like a really dark celadon type of green crelly base, again, with the same gold metallic flakes. And this one honestly just blew me away. I love the base color in this one so, so much. The formula was the same as the other polishes, to no one's surprise though i did find this one to be a little bit maybe more jelly-ish because it was starting to pull away from my tips <laughs> which i don't know why but that always happens when i wear jelly polishes but either way it built up to opacity in two coats because it was the darkest of the greens and yeah this one is my favorite one so so beautiful so here's a look at the Food for Love collection all together. I know that a lot of these are definitely very similar because of all the pinks that we have, but I would say the most two similar shades are actually the white Crellies because they just have the same color combination going on. The only difference is whether you're a fan of flakies or micro glitters, but for the rest of them, I think they're all different enough that you could justify having all of them if you really wanted to. But yeah, I absolutely love this collection and am eating it all up. <laughs> But as far as comparisons go, I have Don't Go Bake In My Heart next to Island P's Heart to Heart from their somewhat recent Sweetheart Bundle because I thought these were going to be dupes pretty much, but Island P definitely has much more of a stark white base color and it's a little bit more opaque and the flakies in Island P are smaller and a little bit more sparse, but color wise, they're pretty much the same. Next for Butter Me Up, I just wanted to show it next to Island P's Holding Hands, also from their Sweetheart Bundle. They're obviously not dupes, but I really just have nothing like Butter Me Up in my collection, so I just wanted to share these as reference. I wanted to do a side-by-side -side of Brie Mine and Love You Very Much since these two also have the same formula, but as you can see, they are definitely very different shades. I think if you only did one coat of Love You Very Much, it might look similar to Brie Mine though. And here is Love You Very Much next to I Loaf You, which kind of might look similar at first, but I Loaf You is a lot lighter and they also just have much more different formulas, even though they both have a jelly base. There's a lot more holographic and sparkle going on in Love You Very Much. And the last comparison I have for Love You Very Much is You Raz My Berries from the Fall Collection. So I thought that these were going to be pretty identical, but I forgot just how dark You Raz My Berries actually ends up being, especially on the nail. There's a lot more of that pink tone to Berry Much. I know it's described as a hot pink, but I feel like it definitely leans a little red. So no dupes. And here is a look at the Gilded Greens collection all together. So while these all have that same exact formula, I actually really appreciate the fact that these have a good variety in the shades of greens because they're all very different. As far as comparisons go, while I don't have Gilded Olive, I still wanted to show the photos next to Gilded Gherkin, which is the olive from this collection. And I really couldn't tell them apart at first, but judging by the website photos, I would guess that Gilded Olive is just lighter and a little bit more muted than Gilded Gherkin is. 
but here it is next to all of her fall from the fall collection last year the base colors are almost exactly the same but that's where the similarities stop because all of her fall is just packed with all this holographic sparkle and glitter and there's only the gold flakies in the gilded polishes and I'm also going to be comparing it to Island Pea's Olive Grove from last fall as well, which is another olive green jelly base packed with those gold flakies. So they kind of are similar in theory, but the formulas are still pretty different. So here they all are on the nail and you can see that they're not dupes, but they all definitely look very similar to each other again the bases in the two painted polishes are almost identical but there's the bigger gold flakes in gilded gherkin even compared to the island pea shade so no dupes so that wraps up my swatches for the food for love and gilded greens collections as always, I'm really excited to hear what your thoughts are on these releases because I'm really excited about both of them. If you couldn't tell, I really, really love them. I am a little bit more partial towards the Food for Love collection because of the sparkly pinks, which I do have a bit of an update on the comparison side of things. I'm actually wearing two shades. I'm not sure if you can tell them apart but I have Brie Mine on my first two fingers and then Love You Very Much on the other three here. So I'm wearing both of these on two coats and I feel like it's kind of hard to tell them apart. I didn't really realize that before, but I think if you wanted to get more of that reddish, deeper color in Very Much, you would need a third coat because otherwise if you do two, it might be a little too similar to Brie Mine, but Either way, I don't really care because I absolutely love these shades. <laughs> I just wanted to give a little bit of an update as far as comparisons go since I didn't show these side by side since they looked so different in the bottle. But anyway, that goes to show how useful comparisons are. <laughs> and as far as the Gilded Greens go, I really love Gilded Pines the most. That one is my favorite favorite i just love how it's like darker and more of that like blue kind of pine celadon type of green it is just so beautiful to me and i'm a seasonal wearer so i'm really surprised by the fact that i really really enjoyed these two darker greens right now because normally i'm just like give me the lighter stuff you know i'm ready for the brights for all the spring kind of shades so I think all of them are great, honestly. So yeah, I have a ton of favorites in this video, but I'm super excited to hear what yours are. Leave me any and all thoughts that you have down below so we can chat about it. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.